The RBI has done a great job in terms of uh, managing monetary policy through the pandemic. Uh, we have to remember that uh, we are not in the crisis mode that was there in 2021 when the first wave hit. So all that we are talking about is a normalization of monetary policy, which means first the narrowing of the policy corridor. Remember the corridor was widened when the RBI cut reverse repo rate by 40 basis points. So right now you're facing a 65 basis points corridor between the repo and the reverse repo. In normal times, you usually have a 25 basis points corridor. Uh, you added to that a lot of liquidity surplus, which kept your overnight rates pretty much at the bottom of the corridor, that is the reverse repo. So all that we are calling for is a normalization of that corridor, the liquidity tightening, which is already going on uh, through the VRRRs, which the RBI again has managed very well, and then calling for repo rate hikes next year, Q2 onwards, as uh, our view is that inflation stays uh, uh, near the upper end of the RBI's target band. Hmm. I want to also understand uh, your thoughts on the currency right now, because, you know, the Indian rupee as well as the Indonesia, uh, Indonesian rupiah are most vulnerable to outflow risk because of policy tightening in the U.S. and, you know, faster taper there, perhaps. Uh, the rupee has not shown that nervousness as of now, but it has not seen marked strength as well, despite strong inflows. And so what's the view in terms of the range for the currency from here? Right. So, again, taking a step back on the overall macros, the current account deficit, which primarily determines the fundamentally determines the direction of the rupee, uh, in our view, is expected to uh, move from 0.9% of GDP deficit in 2021 to 1.5% deficit uh, of GDP in in uh, 2022. Uh, this will happen due to two reasons. One is that commodity prices, on an average, will be higher. And two, also remember the economy is reopening, uh, which means that you know, your non-oil, non-gold imports, which are more reflective of domestic demand conditions, that will uh, increase and hence expand the current account deficit. We think that balancing that uh, are two factors on the capital flow side. One, uh, our equity strategists think that you know, with this long pipeline, uh, pipeline of IPOs in India, you are going to have fairly robust flows in equity markets next year. And our view is that India's bond inclusion in the global index goes through sometime in second half of 2022. Uh, this is going to attract passive uh, uh, flows in, in terms of fixed income. Uh, putting that together, you know, BOP surplus is going to remain in the region of about $30 billion. Uh, you know, you add to that the forward book that the RBI is running worth almost about $50 billion. That is the last data that we know of. Uh, and therefore, overall, the currency situation looks fairly uh, comfortable. So we are not seeing a large depreciation uh, in the in the in the currency. The range that we are looking at is uh, 74 now, which is you know range bound for the next three months, uh, moving towards 73 and 72 over a six and 12 month basis.